you're something of an, uh, an expert on this. What does denial of capability look like to you? And I, I compare it, you brought up Iran earlier. In Iran, we had absolute solid intelligence as to where the nuclear capability is. They, they had no missiles, by the way, so the comparison's not very good. But we don't seem to have I'm sorry, the same. What did you say? You say Iran has no missiles? Iran has no nuclear capable missiles. They don't, that, that's a fact. Well, uh, but, but that's, you let's, know, let's, let me just suggest to you, if North Korea has those, Congressman, if North Korea has those, they can get them. Congressman, go let's go talk ahead. about go the ahead. present, please. This is an important right, topic. You, okay, let's yeah. talk about, I'm asking you a question. Let's talk about the present. How do we establish denial of capability with North Korea? We do not have nearly the information that we had on Iran. Well, the fact is we have a great deal of information on North Korea, and we had a great deal of information for decades, and we had an opportunity to deny them the capability, and there are only two components to any threat, and that's the capability and the intent. And uh, Mr. Uh, the, President uh, uh, Obama and, and, and President Clinton Carson, uh, I really want to move forward. I really want to have a discussion about how we stop a war with North Korea. I really don't want to talk about Bill Clinton or Barack Obama or George W. Bush or Jimmy Carter well, or, I can understand or, or Nixon that you wouldn't. because this all started. I can understand that you wouldn't, but the bottom line is if we continue this is to make not a mistakes of the game, past. Sir. This is about war. Can we get answers? You're, you're a guy who actually knows about this. Do we really know where the missiles are in North Korea? Because intelligence sources tell me that we do not have the degree of information that we did in a place like Iran where our spy capabilities are really good, our aerial capabilities were really good. I'm asking it you a military true. question. It is I'm true not asking North Korea, about it, North Korea. Well, about if you give me a chance to answer, maybe that would help us both. It is true that North Korea has the ability to disperse their capability, as such as it is, in ways that uh, are harder for us to deal with because there's not as much information in North Korea. That's, that part is true. Okay, that's so what I'm trying answer. to get to. And so what? So the fact is, when we talk about denial of capability, which goes back to the question I asked about two and a half minutes ago, when, when uh, Lindsey Graham says that, that denial of that, capability that tra should be that, tra uh, is, is that the, ship has sailed. That okay, ship has what sailed. Was, what, we have what, to do now, what we have to do now is to try to deter their intent. And that's what I'm trying to suggest to you, that the, the ship of capability has sailed under Mr. Obama and Mr. Clinton. And now what we have to do is that we have, to, we have a president now that has far limited options and there, some of those options are much more grave than the options that we had before. So consequently, he has to make it clear to North Korea that should they intend or should they proceed to attack the United States, that it means devastation to them. That's dealing with intent. And I hope the president succeeds.